All right, who is ready to paint again today? I am very, very excited to paint, but I made a mistake from the last session. I didn't, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I forgot to set my, uh, my palette and make it flat. Like what you're seeing is actually at a bit of an angle. And uh, therefore it ran like some of this paint just kind of slithered its way down. And it does that because this is a stay wet palette. It has some, some moisture. There's a sponge underneath this palette paper. It's a special type of palette paper. It's not normal, but uh, you can see how it just got too, too runny. And because it was sitting there at an angle, it decided it wanted to go for a walk down the hill so that's one small downside to a stay wet palette if it's at an angle okay but i'm back at this painting here want to just continue to build it out and and have fun so i hope you're ready for a good time because i'm still going to have a good time here and i'm just thinking about it I probably should use some tape on that, to be honest. A little, little cheating, but it's okay. Let me see if I can find. I do have some tape here. There it is. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Tape is good, but it's also a little bit tricky. It can be a little bit uh, like... Oh man, like it's so helpful, but you can't assume that it's perfectly straight either because if you bend the tape, if you put it down and, and you're flexing it kind of the wrong way, it will bend. It will bend, I tell you. But it's pretty awesome to be able to use tape on occasion uh, where like something like this is a good example it's, it's kind of a perfect place where I want to have a straight line. And that should be all right. Hopefully. Uh, I can always adjust something if it's not. One of the things I try to do with that, though, is kind of have a softer edge up on that top edge. So I might not make it completely filled in, so to speak, all the way across. Got a little area over here. And I might as well just turn my hat around. Let's get painting for real. Let's have some fun. Okay. Good times. Good times. So I was thinking about a story I should tell you guys, and I've got so many good stories, man. Like So many stories. They're mostly good stories. If you like hearing about me doing stupid things, <laughs> meaning I've done a lot of things where I'm like, Oh, that was like made sense in the moment, but man, that was kind of a dumb dumb thing to do. I've learned a lot over the years about myself. I'm 
trying to think here. What would be a good story? This isn't really a story, but it's something that happened recently. And it's actually kind of sad, but we, in the year 2020, we got a, a little kitten. This little kitten was really cute and really fun. And he was, I think you would call him a tabby, except that his markings were slightly different than a normal tabby. And he, he had a bit more of a silver. Uh, he wasn't striped really so much. He had like this silver uh like his side was, I don't know. Anyways, I called him Silver right off the bat. I was like, we should call him Silver. And everybody else kind of agreed to that. So his name was Silver. And he was such a fun cat. And he, he just from the very beginning, we're driving home with him. Boy, I could tell you about how I got him, but. That is a little bit of a story, actually. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you. So this, this happened a few weeks into all the lockdowns, all the shutdowns, all the craziness that made 2020 what it was. And we're at home, my wife, daughter, and I'm just thinking, man, Willow, our daughter, has been wanting to get a pet for the longest time. And we really need a pet right now because we're stuck at home. And it'd be really wonderful to have somebody else in the house, another little creature, right? Willow had already been asking for pets and stuff. And so I just thought, okay, I don't want to get... A hamster, I don't want to get, you know, like to me, I'm like, I don't want to get a rodent in the house. I don't want to have something that's so small that it can crawl somewhere and we just won't find it. You know, like I, I want something a little bit bigger. And my wife, though, she'd never had a cat. So she, it was not even on her mind at all to think cat until the day that I, was, I, I said, what do you think about a cat? Because we'd had cats growing up and... They were nice. I love them. And uh, she said, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I started looking. Now, what I didn't know was that me and 500 million people in the world were all looking for cats and pets at the same time because we're all stuck at home at the same exact moment. <laughs> and so what I thought was going to be like, oh, this would be easy. This would be simple because people are always giving away cats. You know, that, that should not be a problem at all. Well, turns out in April of 2020, if you wanted a cat, that was like asking for gold or something. Hey, do you want to give away your gold? I don't know, because people were holding on to their cats. They were selling their cats like they were worth so much money. So... I, I started looking and I'm realizing, oh my goodness, we're not just going to get a cat. Somebody's going to charge us money for their cat. Especially, you want a kitten? Oh man. So I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll pay for a kitten. It's worth it. So I found a, I mean, but it was hard. It was hard to find. Like, but eventually, eventually, about an hour and a half away, I found a cat. <laughs> like, that's why I'm serious. Like an hour and a half away. But we had nothing else to do. It was a Sunday morning. And you couldn't go to church in person. You couldn't go anywhere in person. But you could drive down the highway in person. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to go on a little mission and see if we could get this cat. And... I told the guy, listen, I've been trying to get cats for a while. 
And I know that there's a lot of competition. So we're headed there. We're an hour away. We're an hour and a half away. I just want to make sure that you're going to keep that cat there because I don't want to drive all the way there and then it's gone. And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't give this cat away to anybody. So we get in the car and we start driving. Me, my wife, our daughter. Our daughter's got her little box that she's created. It's got a pillow or a blankie in the bottom. And she's she's got a little toy for this new cat that we're going to go pick up. She's very excited. And I'm very excited too because, you know, it's always nice to do something that you think is going to make your kids happy. So I'm looking forward to this. And I honestly feel a little bit like, this is going to be good. I'm 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 going to be a bit of a hero today. Even though my wife wasn't. Yeah, she's like, "Well, we just started thinking about this. We don't need to go on this big mission right now." And I'm like, "Nope, we're doing it today. We're headed out right now." So we're driving, driving, driving. And we get off the highway and we start going down this rambling mix of country roads and we're kind of way out there i'm like man this place is this is a long way out here but we eventually get to the place and all excited we get out of the car i get out of the car it's like down this funny old driveway and but I see somebody working on a car outside and I go up and I say hey are you Gary and this youngerish kind of guy he's probably in his 20s or 30s he turns around and goes yeah Gary's inside I'll go get him and so he goes inside and comes back out and he says he'll be out in a minute and I'm like okay I thought he was expecting us but Maybe he was taking a nap. I don't know. And so a couple minutes go by and I'm like there with Willow. Willow's standing there with her, her little box kind of waiting a little bit closer to the truck. And I'm closer to the house. And this guy comes around the corner and he goes, oh, man. You know, disheveled kind of guy. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, uh. Somebody came through and I gave that cat to them. I thought it was you. I go, no way. I go, no way. He goes, yeah, I'm really sorry about it. Just gave that cat, you know, to somebody else like 15 minutes ago. And I was pretty upset. I was pretty upset because I turn around and I'm walking back towards our car and I see our daughter there holding her little box. And I see the sadness on her face. And I'm like, that jerk right there just made my daughter cry. And I was, I was mad. I was very mad. But I was still in fix-it mode. And I'm like, there's got to be a solution. Renee, my wife, she's of course like, see, I told you that we should have put more thought into this. <laughs> we should have waited and had a more thorough process of this. And I'm just sitting there like locked in. I'm like, nope, we're going to fix this right now. There's no way that I'm going to be denied. I don't care where I have to go. And I remembered seeing on Craigslist, like there was another listing that was another 45 minutes away. But because we were where we were, it was like, I never would have thought about that other place. But now that we're an hour and a half away, what's two hours and 15 minutes of driving? That's nothing. So we, I call this, this number and a nice lady answers and 
she, I say, do you happen to still have a kitten? And she goes, you know what? I have one more kitten still here. And I say, okay. Do you promise me that you will not give that cat away? She says, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm like, no, 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 no. Do you promise me that you will not give that cat away? She goes, well, yeah, I promise you. I'm like, no, 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 no. Listen to me. I just drove an hour and a half to pick up a cat. My daughter is with me. She has a little box for this cat. We got to the place and the guy had given away the cat to another person who came before us. I said, do you promise me that you will not give away this kitten to anybody whose name is not Jed and who does not have a daughter named Willow? And she finally, she's like, okay, I get it. I, I see. She's like, I will not give it away. I promise. And I'm like, I promise you that I'm on my way. I promise you that I'm on my way. We are coming right now. So we drive the 45 minutes. And of course, my wife is probably shaking her head like, I don't know what what's up with you, Jed. I don't know why we're doing this, but. Somehow, because I had the keys, I convinced her enough that we were doing it. And so we headed there and we got there and there was this little baby kitten. And this lady was holding him. And I could tell from the beginning that that little kitten had been loved well. Like that lady, she had actually really loved that cat. I don't remember she even had a name for that little kitten that ended up becoming Silver when he entered our family. But that was how we actually got Silver. And I remember on the ride home, we had just named him Silver. And he was kind of nervously walking around or, you know, kind of like sitting in this little cardboard box. And we were holding him and... He was so small. He had a small, tiniest little meow. Like you could barely hear his meow. But he had a real big purr. And his purr was like a little motor. Just like you might expect from a bigger animal. A bigger uh, cat. But he was just a little guy. But he had a real serious purr. And that little cat, he wormed his way into our hearts real easily. Like We loved him so much. And we still do. But the problem is, is that about a month ago or so, he decided that he wanted to go on a trip. And we don't know where he ended up. But one day, early in the morning on a Saturday, he left our house and he has never come back. Now, don't you tell me that he got eaten by coyotes because I know that that's possible, but... Don't want to believe it. We believe that he's in the Bahamas somewhere. We believe that he's enjoying his life right now. He's out there on a cruise ship somewhere. Maybe in the Bahamas. Maybe he's down in Mexico. I don't know where he is. In fact, I was just in Mexico and I saw... I did see a cat. True story. I saw a cat. I saw the back half of a cat. And the coloring of this cat was actually very similar to the coloring of silver. And I thought to myself, well, maybe that's silver right there. Turns out it wasn't. 
but it could have been. And that means he could still be out there somewhere. So that's what I'm believing right now is that little silver who turned into big silver. He was a pretty big boy. He's still alive out there. Somewhere. Somewhere in the world. Now I'm just working on, not that I'm, I'm not really trying to explain what I'm doing. This is just hangout time, but I'm trying to get a little bit of texture in here and work on some of the, um, see how nice and clean that line is now? Maybe a little bit too clean in some places. Like I might want to come back through and darken up some of these areas but I gotta answer the call so my brother filmed a, a demo with my dad my dad's an artist my brother's an artist my sister's an artist my mom's an artist my grandma was an artist turned nurse and my great grandma was an artist professional illustrator cartoonist so art kind of runs in the family. But my brother was filming my dad for us for a lesson with Acrylic University as a guest artist. It was the first time we had ever done it. We were out of town when we, so we had my brother, you know, kind of go do it. And everything was good except for there was some weird issue that happened with his, his phone's camera. When it went to get edited, the, the image quality went wonky. That's a real word. So that's what I was just talking to him about, trying to figure out, is there a way that we can fix this? Because the demo was great. And one camera looks great. But the, the second camera, for some reason, is just a little bit wild, a little bit weird. Okay. It's kind of nice to just paint. And uh, like I said before, this painting is for somebody. It didn't start out as a commission and it's not technically a commission right now, but it is for somebody at this point because they walked through the studio, saw the painting in its unfinished state and said that they wanted to have it So now I'm finishing it kind of with them in mind. 